Hi guys, Morning Brain here again. Um, I just wanted to talk about something that's really aggravating me about Dead by Daylight right now and really, really frustrating me and upsetting me. Um, it was something that was kind of like coming through during my like dev update. I was just realized I was just like really frustrated talking about the game. And I was wondering like why that is. Like, why am I so mad right now? And the main reason I am mad right now is because there's an, an egregious amount of cheaters and subtle hackers in the game right now. And it is very, very severe. And it's absolutely just getting under my skin and even when there's not actively a cheater in my games it's ruining my games because it's making me suspect as well uh it's just very bad so first i want to explain that the reason this is happening and Choi made an excellent video about this going over like why this is happening and why there's more cheaters right now uh effectively recently uh when behavior made an update apparently they had a security flaw in that update that made it way 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 easier to cheat and hack um so the amount of cheats and hacks have gone up uh, astronomically uh, I used to run into a hacker like mm, once a month, if that. Um, I remember people used to be like, oh, I run into cheaters all the time. And I'd be like, Pfft. no, you don't. The last time I actually got a report back on a cheat was like a month and a half ago. What are you talking about? Do you know how many report backs I've had for cheaters in the past week and a half? In the past week and a half, I have reported probably like five, six people. Do you know how many report backs I've had? Four. I have had four confirmed cheats out of five reports. Out of four or five reports in this past week, I have gotten four back. What is going on? One, one of them was really, really obvious. It was like a Dwight that was just like flying around and like, you know, obviously that one's a little bit more funny. <laughs> I still want to go next. I still want to go into an actual game, uh, but that was a little bit more funny with him just like teleporting and stuff like that. Um, but the other ones are very, very subtle. Like, hey, why are the gens going too fast? Or, hey, you seem kind of faster than you should be. Uh, one of the more infamous ones that I had that our chat laughed at a lot uh, was that uh, somebody activated their background player when I hadn't picked somebody up yet, <laughs> which is really funny. Um, and the person tried to claim it was lag um, and it was definitely not lag. Um, I thought it was really strange that, you know, they got their speed boost from background player because uh, they were hovering for the flashlight life anyway. Um, but I faked the pickup instead of actually performing the pickup, but the person still got the speed burst anyway. And I was like, that's kind of that's kind of weird. Um, person trying to claim it was lag is clearly not lag. Um, yeah, I'm getting I'm getting successful, you know, ban reports back for all, almost all of my reports that I am sending in. And that's only been in a week and a half. Remember, I said earlier, like I get I get like typically when things are normal in Dead by Daily, I get like a hacker like every like month or two, if that but I've had five suspected hacking incidents in a week and a half, if that. What is happening? What is happening? This is an astronomical increase in the rate of hacking in the game. Like this is like literally, li <laughs> this is like worse than we've ever had it because like, I, I think, I forget who put this. It was either Troy, Running Man, somebody like that on Twitter. They had said that they actually prefer every other wave of hacking that we've had over this and i 100 percent agree because the other ones were funny like it was like a crazy killer bot that just like we're teleporting around insta killing people or it was flying survivors uh even that like the holding hostage thing was like as aggravating as it was to content creators at least it was fairly obvious to tell that hacking was happening these people suck these people by and large are trying to hide their cheats and gaslight you into thinking that you're a jerk for accusing them i most of the people that i have accused that either are in the after chat or come into my twitch chat uh actively are very nasty and mean and cruel to me for accusing them of cheating and then lo and behold i get the report back and it's a confirmed ban so these people are actively doing everything in their power to hide it. But for some reason, I don't know if it's just because of the volume of people cheating. These guys are particularly bad at it. They're, they're they kind of suck at hiding their their cheats. So people are finding them way quicker. Um, so it feels like there's just a tremendous new uh, population of cheaters who are not used to hiding their cheats so they don't get caught immediately and are just getting caught a lot. Right, the problem is we are still affected directly and we are still suffering through their cheating. And even though they we do get their accounts banned, we do get the, 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 the hackers caught, um, we still are enduring terrible games and the the echoes from that carry onward. Because now every time a gen is really fast, 
uh, I, I'm questioning hacks. Every single time somebody's moving too fast, even though they could be just like pathing optimally, uh, I'm questioning hacks. Like I, it's literally like I am extremely paranoid in all of my games. And honestly, I'm gonna keep it 100% with you. I'm gonna, gonna keep it a buck. Uh, it, this is like probably the saddest I've been playing DVD in a hot minute. It's not, has nothing to do with the game. I am loving playing Xenomorph. I am loving discovering new stuff for the guide. I'm helping other people with their guides. I'm, I'm enjoying the game more than I ever have, but for some reason I'm tremendously anxious and sad getting on the game every day because I don't know what's real and what's not. <laughs> like, I don't know if I'm the next game I'm going to get into if there's going to be somebody hacking and, you know, with the, the, the increased number, like I said, four out of five people that I've reported, I got a report back on. I haven't opened the game today. That fifth person I reported may actually have a, have a, uh, have a report back and that's, that, that'll be cool. Um, <laughs> I'll pin a comment if I get that, if I get that report. <laughs> that's not even in addition to like the, sha the, the the shoddy state of the game right now, because in addition to all these hacks, there's a tons of very, 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 very nasty exploits uh, that aren't hacks. It's just people taking advantage of bugs in the game for competitive advantages, and they do offer extreme competitive advantages. The off the record bug, where if you mend, I know before somebody's in the chat, it's technically endurance as a whole. I know, I know, I know. If you mend, your deep wounds you get your endurance back right now it's not supposed to work that way but essentially you can and as as long as the timer is up you can just gain as many endurance uh, uh effects as you can until that comes back so essentially as killer if somebody has off the record you can't leave them <laughs> you cannot leave chase with them you have to chase down after them you have to tunnel them if they're the ones that forced it like because well they're just gonna heal up and continue to gain the perks effect um there's also the potential energy bug, which people found a way, uh, if you're using potential energy, to keep the extra speed that toolboxes give you if you're using potential energy. Um, so that's that's pretty that's pretty awful. That's obviously very gen rushy and very awful. And, and I caught somebody doing that literally yesterday. Um, and if, if the other survivors in the chat were like, "Oh yeah, she's doing that," uh, not in a four man probably because they went right out of the frame, but they probably also realized what she was doing when they saw the potential energy in the toolbox. Or like, oh. I generally kind of fast. Oh, she's doing the thing. So like, even when it's not direct hacks, there's a lot of really, really nasty stuff going on in the game right now, just in terms of exploits that essentially amount to cheating. There aren't actual hard hacking, but they are essentially cheating. They're exploiting to get a competitive advantage in the game. And it's just like, I don't want to play right now. I, I, I love this game. I want to keep playing this game. I'm going to keep going for fun tail attacks and talking to people and helping them learn the Xenomorph. I don't want to play right now. I don't want to play the video game right now because I, 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 don't want to deal with that stress of am i facing a hacker is somebody exploiting like i don't want to deal with that it's just it's just absolutely miserable out there right now and i alluded to this earlier but like the in addition to this like we have also the problem of like the the, the paranoia it creates afterwards anybody who's a p100 i'm nervous about because one thing hackers like to do is just like q100 their character immediately um if they're on non mode I get nervous because I like to be in a non mode. If they're on Windows Store, I get nervous because a lot of cheaters are through uh, are globe gamers. Um, not on Steam is what I'm meaning by globe gamers. I get nervous when I see legacy because obviously the amount of legacy players is extremely low. It was so hard to get and it was only available for a certain time. So anytime I see legacy, I'm assuming everybody I run into is legacy is probably a cheater because hackers can just unlock that. Um, I'm just paranoid of everything. Gens go too fast. Are they, are, are they cheating? Are, are, are they hacking that speed? Um, if somebody's healing too fast, I had an Adam the other day who had a, an event toolbox, another thing, event items and event offerings I get nervous about, and an event toolbox from like year five or four or something like that. And he was just healing up instantly. Like he would get off hook without a, like he would get off, off hook, I'd break up the heal so they couldn't heal him. And then he'd run off and he'd be healed in like 10 seconds. I'm like, how is he doing that? Never found out why he was probably hacking. I didn't report that one because I, it didn't look too obvious, but it was definitely suspect. But that sort of stuff is just like, I feel that way every game now. I feel that way every game and it, it's miserable. I keep it a bug with you, it's miserable. It, 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 the stress and paranoia is a lot and I wish behavior would just address it in some way. Like they would just say something of like, hey, we're aware of this and we're working on it because like, I love your game and it's you're like this, this like, vulnerability is creating such a, a nasty environment right now even if hacking is not actively taking place i'm always paranoid of the hacking so i really hope they fix it i really hope they do something about it 
Um, there's gonna be a lot of comments down in below that I know, and I'm sorry you probably already written your comment of like, "Oh my gosh, I saw this thing the other day, and I thought I thought maybe I was the problem. Maybe I thought I was the issue." But yeah, like, holy crap, I think they were cheating, and that's just that hurts me that so many other people may not even realize because like I can generally tell that like when hacking is happening because I'm like why are, I, I have like over six thousand hours in the game I generally know I'm like gen speed should be about this quick even if they're super efficient about it um generally healing even if they have healing perks should only be about this fast you know like I have a general sense of the game that like allows me to very quickly sniff out cheating because I've just played it too long but like for other players that don't have that, you're just going to be assuming that you're getting stomped or that you're playing badly. And it's it, sometimes that's not the case. Sometimes you legitimately have a hacker and the reason they're doing it so subtly is so they can gaslight you and make you think that. And that makes you feel bad. And that sucks. That sucks that you have to foot the bill for them being too insecure to play the game normally. And that's terrible. So hopefully they fix it soon because I am. I am truly sad for that. I'm truly sad for that. I'm sad about it. And hopefully they fix it soon or at least say something about it because it's miserable out here. So, yeah. I do it all daily, though. I make daily videos. So I'll see you then tomorrow, Zone friends. If I do not, I'll see you when I see you. Goodbye.